Hello and welcome to another video of Project Libre Desktop. This is Mark O'Brien and today we'll go through Project Libre Desktop reporting. And you can see here I've got a project. It's a simple project, but it's got a baseline with some offset dates with the project. I've got a complete task here, which is shown by the check mark there that's green. I have an estimated duration on this task, development that's 10 days and it's partially complete. So this is the project I have. If I click on reports, the very first report I have is the project details report, okay? There really aren't options on the project details report as in the other ones. Um, however, if I click on report, what you'll see is four options. There's a resource report, uh, task information report and who does what report. These are general categories of reports and within each report there are options. So the import, the project details report is showing this project that I have which is called import project. It's got the start date, the finish date of the project, the baseline, start and finish, the actual start and finish, the duration, the baseline duration, and you can see that that is actually different, remaining actual percent complete on the project. And if we scroll down, work, baseline, schedule, remaining, costs, and there's project notes. I will note on this that we can zoom in if we want. So if I wanna make this a 75% zoom, we can do that. We can print, we can save it, and if it's a multi-page report, we can scroll through the pages. Now that's going to be consistent on all these uh, reports and if you print you have the option to uh, print to a PDF file as well. So I'm going to go back to 100% zoom so you can see this and again project details has really no options. If I go to the next one down which is uh, resource information, the initial version the initial version is the default and that's the resource ID, resource name, the resource breakdown structure, the work type or the resource type, the email address and the material label. If you notice all these resources are work up until we come to a crane which is a material resource. Now here we do have different columns so again it's the same report the resource information report but we can change that that one report becomes multiple I can say earn value and we can see in here the budgeted cost of work scheduled performed actual cost of work performed cost variance schedule variance estimate at complete and budget at complete so that is the earn value report on resourcing we can go to the cost one that takes the earn value just with the costing portions of it we can go earn value schedule which again instead of budget cost of work scheduled it's a scheduling portion and then we can just do name. So if we want to do a dump of all of our resources, we can take a look at that with their ID and their name. And that's it. Um, we can go through on the default and we could say, let's filter this. So again, same report, but this time I'm gonna look at material resources. If you recall, there was only one and that was Crane. So that shows there. I could say work resources. Crane doesn't display, but those others do. I could say in progress work assignments and there's only one. So if we go back, well, if we go back, you would see that that one task was complete. This one's in progress. If I want to say work complete, then there was the couple of tasks there that were complete. And if I was to say unstarted assignments, then these three people have unstarted resource assignments. You can also sort and group if you've got larger uh, reports. This is a small one. Let me jump on to task information. Same thing, same options for printing, etc., for zooming. This time the default columns are the task ID, task name, duration, start finish date, predecessors, and resource names. Again, I can come through many more options here. I can do a baseline report to see the baseline schedule and to see what that in fact incurs as far as the baseline starts finishes and the baseline costs, etc. I can take a look at constraint types. You know, there's as soon as possible, as late as possible, start no earlier than, start no later than. So we could see all the constraints on these tasks here. 
we can take a look at a cost view. The cost view has the name, the cost actual remaining, fixed baseline, and fixed cost accrual is at the end of the task. You can accrue cost at the start, middle, and end, and so that's displaying what we've chosen there. The default I showed, the earned value is similar to the resource one with budgeted cost of work scheduled, performed, actual cost of work performed, cost variance, schedule variance, estimate at complete, and finally budget at complete. So we can see that. And then similar to the resource, it goes to the costing version of the earned value or the scheduling ver version of the earned value. Now, the third or the fourth version of reports is who does what. And on who does what, it just is showing the resource assignments. So here, uh, Mark is on this task, test, Olivia is on document, Kelsey's on um, document as well, and there are other options. We can do assign reports, assign resources with that, uh, the basic report, name and ID, resource usage, and tasks assigned. So again, what looks like it is a simple uh, report like task assigned, it's unstarted assignments. I could say work complete assignments, and Connor has work complete assignments. So to, to summarize this, there are four types of reports, and the last three of them, resource, task, and who does what, has columns that you can select to change the reports. So that one report here actually has five reports. And then in addition, even those reports you can filter, group, or sort based on that. And that is, in essence, what we're doing with Project Library Reports.